Welcome back to Fix It Tony. Today I'm on a humanitarian mission to trim my favorite animal pet claws. So, just to give you a sense of how long they are, uh, I'm gonna slowly, there you can see that these are pretty long. You can see uh, nail and then the quick, the beginning of the quick is, let me see if I can, uh, the beginning of the quick is, <laughs> this is a challenge. You can kind of see it there. Okay. Uh, how am I going to hold this? There. This part right here is the quick. You want to trim to about that line right there. Do not go below that line. If you do, this will bleed like crazy. So you can tell how much length there is to these claws. And uh, one way you can tell when they're needing clipping is when the dog is standing on a hardwood floor or on a hard, on a hard flooring, uh, you know, wood floor, tile floor, vinyl floor. If the tips of the claws, if these tips right here are touching the floor to an extent that it's pushing up on the applying pressure on the on the toes then you know it's time to trim the nails so I did this one already let's see there I trimmed these already you can see it's right even there she had broken her little thumb claw all right so no trimming needed there so after I trim I have a glass crystal let's see here check glass um, this is actually a etched glass it's a file for dog nails and uh, I, it's it's worked really well. Um, I've been able. She's she's a real good girl, and she tolerates me trimming nails. The nail clippers that I use are ones like this. That sheer across. It's got a little protective, so I don't go too deep. And uh, the way I'm gonna do it. is uh, just take that in there and clip it off. I'm gonna see if I can get a try to. All right, I'm in an awkward position over my dog, but I'm gonna try and give you first hand. So this nail here is gonna need to be trimmed twice. So, there's one, you can see now, I'm getting close to the quick. Now I have to be very careful. There, you can see that. One more. That's trimmed. 
I'll have to vacuum up the carpet. Um, this one, this one, you can probably tell is already pretty close. So, there we go. She's moving around. Uh, this one. There. All right, so this paw, uh, this paw is pretty much done. Uh, trimming. So now um, I'm going to take a look at this piece here. Oh, yeah. This thing right here. Uh, yeah, see that? I got to get that little dinky thing. It's all right, not Mac. It's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna go lefty. There. Got it. Eee. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So, what I'm going to do is, there you go, nutmeg, there you go. All right. She's doing real good. All right. you the filing process. So the filing process, it's easier when the camera's not around, but it's going to be a, a, a downward. The reason I'm filing her nails. I could grind them, but I don't have a grinder and it's noise. And uh, instead, I am rounding off all of the sharp edges that were created from the clippers. If I were to just let it be, those sharp edges, you know, you can kind of see here, that sharp edge could create a crack or a split. So I don't want to do that. I want to round off the nails and get down to that final little bit. This does remove nail. You know, it is, it is abrasive. It holds up well. and rounded. I'll try and do this one right here. You can kind of see the before square. It is uh, right to the where the quick is. Now I learned my lesson by rushing, not to rush. 
Um, I had definitely on one occasion taken it too aggressively in, in a not well lit environment and I did cut the quick and let me tell you that bleeds like crazy it is not easy to stop I did have some quick clot for for fit uh, for pets that I had purchased long ago and that helped to create a plug you can tell that I'm going in one direction only and that is in the direction of, that the nail is growing because um, that's creates less I think pain and discomfort if I were to go up I'm sort of pulling up I don't want to pull up Can you tell? I don't have necessarily more words of wisdom here. Um, the glass file works well. My scissors work well. There are other nail clipping gadgets. You know, or you know what I should tell you about. Um, so now that I'm, yeah, that's done. Okay, so what I do have that I want to show you um, is I did invest in a pair of these. These are magnifying, magnified with an LED. Uh, glasses or tools and that allows me to see really close and get into the how close I was able to get uh, with my aging eyes I'm definitely not able to get that level of precision that I can with wearing something like this so this helps me a lot um, in trimming my na uh, her nails but as you can tell, uh, it's important to get the dog used to nail trimming. Uh, one way that I accomplished that was I initially, you know, when she's laying down a lot and I'll sort of be with her and I'll be petting her, just, you know, at random points, I'll start to handle her paws. I've always been handling her paws and getting her to be comfortable with me handling her paws. Um, don't try to trim dog claws the first time you've even touched the paws. Um, they need to trust you. They need to know that whenever you're holding them or touching their paws or claws, that it's not always associated with trimming, especially if you make a mistake. It can be very difficult. Uh, so the dog needs to be very trustworthy of you touching her paws, um, manipulating her claws. You know, I'll clean out the, the dirt under her claws. You know, so if she comes in, her claws are dirty. Um, I got this from my human manicure, manicure and pedicure set. So I just kind of scrape the, the dirt and other debris from under her nails. So she gets the sense that her claws are being touched and manipulated. So um, when it does time come time to actually trim the nails, um, you've gotten a lot of good foundational trust built. So hopefully uh, I'm gonna get back to filing the rest of the nails, but hopefully this should give you a little bit of a, a starting tutorial to grow your confidence in being able to trim your dog's uh, claws. Thank you.
If you like this video, like it and please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you. How you doing, Nutmeg? Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. All done? Yeah. Yeah.